What's up, Renegades? I'm Lupine Fiasco. Welcome back to Daily Fi Gameplay with another installment of Weekly Fi Content. I have a deck tech for you today that is unlike the two deck techs I put up previously. This is a budget build Fi list that I put together for new players and returning players who don't quite have the collection to build the competitive Fi list but still want to learn to play the hero. Flesh and Blood is a great game. I love Fi. If you're here, you love Fi. He is a great hero to learn Flesh and Blood with. His games go very fast. He is very simple to play. There are very few decision points compared to more complex heroes. And he is relatively cheap to build. But that said, the Power Nine of Flesh and Blood, Command and Conquer, Art of War, Enlightened Strike, Fandal Spring Tunic all slot very well into an 80 card competitive list. Mask of Momentum and Flamescale Furnace are certainly not cheap. Warmonger's Diplomacy is still a $40 majestic. So for new players coming into the game, that is quite an intimidating price tag for what is, on its surface, a very simple, easy deck to come into armories with and do well. So the purpose of this list is to start you at the retail Blitz deck that you can pick up at your local game store or on Amazon and take you from the 40 cards within that box all the way to the 80 cards found in the Emberblade list that I did a deck tech on a couple weeks ago. You can find that video here. The main point of this list, the meat and potatoes, is the versions tab. Fabry is great for a lot of reasons, but here for the versions tab that starts us all the way down at the retail blitz list and moves us up through bulk, through all of the necessary upgrades to bring us to the full competitive list, and they are ordered in the importance of the card to the deck. Just as an example, Art of War here is more important to the deck than Flamescale Furnace here or Fiendal Spring Tunic here. There are some price considerations as well. I don't expect you to go straight from a Blitz Precon to a playset of Art of Wars. Let's just take a quick look at some of the versions of this deck. I won't go through the entire list. That deck tech already exists if you want to see card for card why I have included any of the 80 cards in this deck. This is the Retail Blitz list, the 40 cards. Moving from here up to the bulk version, this gets you to a much more playable 60 cards. Not only are we getting you from 40 to 60, we are trimming a lot of the fat, Flame Call Retribution, Flex, just as two examples, and getting you to a playset of the most important cards. With only commons and rares, I call this bulk because commons and rares are extremely cheap in flesh and blood. If your local game store has a thriving fab community, there will be players with these cards lying around. They are happy to give you these cards for free to get you excited and invested in the game. So I don't have a price tag on bulk. If your local game store has a friendly fab community, this should cost you zero dollars to upgrade. Everything here is very easily accessible. Moving up to $10, we are replacing some of those commons and rares with harder to find commons like Blossom of Spring or cheap majestics like Double Strike or Spreading Flames, cards that are very important to a functioning Phi deck, but that might not be as available for free, might cost you a few dollars if you were to shop from Star City Games or TCG Player. Should run you about $10 for the Double Strikes, the Spreading Flames, the Blossom of Spring, and then we make a real dollar jump up the line to your Tiger Stripe Shuko, your Mask of the Pouncing Lynx, your Art of Wars, cards that are going to cost you anywhere from $5 to $40. 
that are very important for a functioning Phi deck, but are not your top priority as far as putting something playable together. That bulk list or the $10 list is going to do you very well in a competitive environment. Maybe not a pro quest, maybe not a road to nationals, but your weekly armory, you'll pick up some wins. The Art of War here, the Tiger Stripe Shuko, they are integral to a competitive file list. You're going to want them. I recommend picking them up first when you have the budget to do so. But certainly jump around this list as you see fit, as fits your budget. Maybe you're coming into this game, you don't feel like you're ready to be a dedicated five player. You want to experiment. You want to feel out the heroes, see what feels good. Well, if we jump further up the versions, you'll see Fiendal Spring Tunic and Command and Conquer. These are cards that slot into any list. Every hero, with a few exceptions, is going to run Fiendal Spring Tunic. Every hero, with a few more exceptions, is going to run Command and Conquer. These are cards where you are better served for a larger variety of heroes, if you put your money into these first. Phi plays Art of War, Lexi plays Art of War, Levia plays Art of War, sometimes Katsu does, but most heroes aren't playing Art of War in their 80 cards at this point. So if you are torn between spending $90 on a playset of Art of War or $90 on a Command and Conquer, keep some money, that Command and Conquer might work better for you. This list is a tool. The versions tab is here to help guide your purchases, give you ideas of what you should be cutting from your list as you make additions to it. As you find the money to buy a copy of Enlightened Strike, you could cut a copy of Lava Vein Loyalty. As you buy your Flamescale Furnace, maybe you're cutting Blossom of Spring. As you work your way up the versions, you have a sideboard now. That's something that you may find that you need as you're getting more competitive and more invested in the game. This is a tool for you to use to guide your entrance into Flesh and Blood. Once you feel comfortable spending the money, you upgrade the list. You start watching the rest of the videos on my channel. I have daily gameplay videos of the top competitive version of this list. I'll show you how to use it. I'll show you the play lines, the thought processes behind winning a game of Flesh and Blood with Fi. But until then, have fun. Until you're ready to get fully invested in Fi gameplay, have a good time. Enjoy yourself. This deck link is available in the video description below. While you are down there, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. It is the best way to support free daily Fi content. You'll be notified whenever I put up a new gameplay or content video. Leave a comment if you have any suggestions or feedback for me. And if you found this video helpful or you just like looking at my pretty face, leave a like. I really appreciate it. And until next week, I hope you all have a good weekend and very good luck at your Bright Lights pre-releases. Have a good one.